Hello, what's up guys, T and I here. In this video, let's talk all we know about iPhone 6 so far and the cool new features of iOS 8. So let's begin with the iPhone 6. iPhone 6 is the most searched iPhone on Google. iPhone 6, if you want an example, I'll show you here in the next video. This video, I just go into Google and type I-P-H-O-N and the first result that comes to me is iPhone 6. The next goes to features of the iPhone 6 that has been rumored up so far. It will feature a much bigger display of 4.7 inches. The previous iPhones of iPhone 4 and 4S supported 3.5 inch, while the iPhone 5 and 5S and 5Cs supported a huge 4 inch display. But this will offer a much bigger display at 4.7 inches. Here is one proof that can confirm all these rumors about a bigger display of an iPhone 6. If you just go into the site called SpyGen, they have already started building cases for the iPhone 6 even before Apple has officially launched it. They have accepted for pre-orders of cases starting from $14.99. The next cool new feature is an unbreakable display. An iPhone 6 is supposed to be a composite of glass and sapphire. Sapphire is the second hardest naturally occurring material on the planet and cannot be scratched anything except for a diamond. But sapphire won't be purely used in an iPhone 6's display. It'll be used purely in its touch ID sensor and its camera lens. Next, let's go to iOS 8. iOS 8 will be partnered with the iPhone 6 as soon as it launches iOS 8 has an amazing new collection of features, but first it's based on the design and foundation of iOS 7. iOS 8, the first cool new feature is called Continuity. Apple launched OS 10 Yosemite in WWDC 2014 on June 2nd, and they announced a cool new feature called Continuity, which bridges the gap between an iOS device and your Macintosh. For example, this feature does this, imagine your phone is uh, charging in one room and you have your laptop or your Mac on in one room, in the other room, and you receive a call and you just don't want to go there. What you can just do is click on the button on top right of your um, OS X screen and you can answer the call then and there. The next cool new feature is interactive notifications. So for example, you're in an app which is which you don't want to leave and you get a notification like an iMessage or normal SMS, just drag down from the top of the notification, get an interactive toolbar or buttons so that you can deal with those notifications then and there. The next feature is Apple's advanced keyboards. Apple has now advanced its keyboard comparatively and now it has better search suggestions and autocorrect or auto prediction. And the cool new feature about this stuff is Apple is now allowing allowing third-party developers to use their keyboard API. So um, developers like Swipe can now install their keyboards on an iPhone or an iPad. This feature points to a much bigger display of an iPhone 6 again because it will be pretty hard to type with one hand on a 4.7 inch screen. Hence this cool new feature. Next feature is the Touch ID API and extensions. Extension basically reduces the time between going from one app to the other and all it does is um, imagine you have an Adobe Photoshop app in your um, iPad or iPhone and you're in your photos, the native photo apps of your computer in your, sorry, your iOS device, uh, you are present in that app and you just don't want to leave that app for editing the picture. You just go through the extensions bar and click on the Adobe Photoshop button and all its editing tools will be present right there. The next one is Touch ID API. Touch ID API will allow developers to integrate Touch ID fingerprint sensor readers to their um, password authentication portals. So imagine you are uh, booking a table, you just um, authenticate with your fingerprint and the table is booked. The next feature is a much rumored feature called Health Kit. Health Kit basically uh, uses all the sensors of your phone to measure your health, your sleep, your calories burned, stuff like that. Okay, and uh, so it's directly in contact with your doctor. So imagine if you have, uh, if your readings are abnormal, the phone will directly tell the doctor and the doctor can get in contact with you. It's a very good new feature. And it can come with another 
piece of hardware who knows okay so the next feature is HomeKit HomeKit is one more very cool feature announced at WWDC for iOS 8 HomeKit basically allows you to use all your light bulbs which are integrated with all your applications like Philips has their own HomeKit application iOS 8 all brings all of them together in one place and you can convert them into scenes so you just press on the home button and say Siri get ready for bed and all Siri will do is close the door lock the doors uh, switch off the AC or switch on the AC do, uh, dim the lights and be ready for you to go to sleep and the next feature is interactive geo based location apps for imagine you're near an Apple retail store you just get this icon on the bottom left of your screen. Just tap on that icon, you're directed, uh, you're redirected to the app. But imagine you're at Starbucks. You just click on that icon on the bottom left of your lock screen and you're taken directly to the app. You don't even have to scroll through all your pages of home applications. So all these features and the iPhone is rumored to be launched on September 9th at um, the apple special event that um, that's whole held every year so these are my views and these are the features of ios 8 hope you guys enjoyed the video and please give it a thumbs up and share the video if you wish to with your friends thank you